everyone, welcome back to the PageFly um, Advanced Page Builder tutorial course. Uh, today we're going to be recreating an FAQ page from a company called Deathwish Coffee. Uh, this is somewhat basic. We don't need to worry too much about colors or fonts here. We're using Montserrat and Roboto font here. Um, the only thing that we might need some practice with is here. There's a few big accordions. We have a divider element here separating each. And then towards the bottom, we have a half-half two-column section. And then finally, this background image with, uh, with the email form. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put in the layout elements. Um, we won't, for video purposes, we won't be doing every single accordion. But I'll show you how you can duplicate those and, and quickly make them uh, um, the same. So let's just jump right into it. First thing is always the full section. Then they've got a heading. And then they actually sneak the divider in right under that first heading. So if you search for the divider element and just drag and drop it immediately below the header, okay, we'll, we'll worry about the size of that uh, later on. Let's just quickly look over here again. Now we just have another heading and then a paragraph and another divider, okay? Okay, so. Our second heading right there, paragraph. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and put the divider between the sections. Then once we get the size down, we can just quickly duplicate it. And that'll separate our sections. Let's see how close we are. Looks like it might be a little bit closer. Uh, let's try that once more. You know what, I'll put in a new section first and then we'll see if we can separate it more easily like that. There we go. Okay, and in that next section, we just had our heading for shipping. So their first section of the FAQ is shipping and then the accordion below. And now I'll just try to sneak that divider in between the two sections. Here we go, and, and that'll be fine. We might have a little bit of extra space, but we can always play with the padding, things like that. Okay, so now comes the accordion. Go ahead, add element and search for accordion. Where is it? There we go. Okay, the one at the bottom here has the arrows on the right. That's the most similar to what they've got on their page. So go ahead and make sure it's in there. Good, and you'll notice they have quite a large accordion in the first one. It's actually 13 items. So all we're going to do, make sure we have, I'll just move my camera here, make sure I have the accordion selected. I'll go to General tab in the Element Inspector on the right, and I'm just going to keep adding items until I hit 13. Okay, what are we at now? There's 15, so trash, trash, okay? So quick and easy to do that. We've got 13 items in the accordion. And later on, we can just copy this entire section and delete um, items from the accordion as we go. For now, I'll show you how to quickly do that. Make sure you select the whole section and duplicate. I have another identical section below here. Uh, their next payment only has two. So we would just go ahead and select our accordion there and just trash a bunch until we only have two. So you can see it, it looks like it's a big deal at first, but not really when you realize you can just quickly add or take away items in those accordions. Okay. So the next section, as I said, for video purposes, we're not going to make every single one of these accordions. I think you've, you can get the hang of it just by repeating the process I just showed you but they do have another section down here, okay? So they have a half-half, two-column section here with an image that's linked, uh, a heading, and a button, okay? So let's go ahead and add another section. There we go. Uh, layout half-half, get our two columns in there. Now I'm going to add an image Make sure it's in the left-hand column. I'm going to add 
a heading. And I'm going to add that button, but the way I do that is adding a block first. Make sure it's in there. It will automatically stack. Find my button, drag and drop it into the block. Okay. So now I could repeat the process for this right-hand column, but as I always say, it's good to know, get in the hang of duplicating things, especially when you can identify uh, where, where there's the opportunity to do that. So I'm just going to delete this, highlight this column and align everything. So that was styling alignment centered. Now I'll just duplicate that. Okay. So we have two identical columns there. That's that section finished. Now the last area here, they actually have a MailChimp form uh, or an email subscription form. We can do that with the MailChimp element. Um, so I'm going to use um, a one third and two thirds layout here. So start by adding another section at the bottom and find the yeah, one third and two thirds. There we go. Pop that in there. They just have a heading on the left. Then they have a paragraph and the MailChimp form on the right. So go ahead and put the heading there in the left hand column. Then paragraph in the right and search mail, MailChimp form. Uh, I think this is the most similar. Yeah, there we go. So they have the subscribe button and enter your email here. And that's that. So we have our layout section done. I'll pause the video here. And in the next video, we'll put in um, the content. Okay. See you guys soon. Thanks a lot.